Technology leaders from across Africa and around the world gathered in Abuja, Nigeria for the MasterCard Foundation Education and Technology Summit 2024. The summit organized by the MasterCard Foundation in partnership with the federal government of Nigeria aims to explore ways to drive financial inclusion in Africa amidst the continent's rapid growth in the digital economy. And what we are saying is there is a possibility to leverage technology to build systems that learners can use to access learning even when there is a shock like COVID or any other type of shock. So this is what this conference is about. Bring together those who are the key actors in this space. See, first of all, what is it that already exists that we can together leverage, but also how can we you know, collaborate better so that in future we can have many more solutions that reach the majority of the people. The event was themed promoting inclusive education in Africa, leveraging technology to promote inclusive education across Africa and support the continent's burgeoning youth population. Panelists also discussed funding opportunities for education technology startups, the role of technology in advancing education at all levels, and the importance of preparing Africa's youth for success in the digital age. The Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, Mr. Bosun Tijani, who spoke on the panel, stated that the goal is to ensure that every young person in Africa has opportunity to succeed in the digital age and strengthen ed tech across Africa. Apply that regardless of where you find yourself in Nigeria, now you'll be able to access the internet. So you start to think, see things like fiber optic cable to OM, which means you're not just accessing internet on your mobile, you actually have fiber, fiber internet to your home and you can set up a proper Wi-Fi which can serve everyone in the home. A lot of our schools, hospitals and critical institutions will now be connected once we're able to deploy that fiber optic cable. So that's what we, the work we're working on. We're hoping that the department will start any time between the next 8 to 12 months because the funding, which is a $2 billion fund, is now being put together to achieve that, that objective. Now we can work with partners like the MasterCard Foundation to ensure that when we invest in schools, that we also invest in teacher training. Because if you put the technology in schools and the teachers don't know how to use it, they will abandon it. Highlighting the importance of public-private partnership in driving innovation, Joseph Nzigamana, director of the Center for Innovation, Teaching and Learning at MasterCard Foundation, noted that collaboration between governments, industry leaders and educators is crucial in developing sustainable solutions for inclusive education. An equally important part of the conference also focuses on the significant role that education plays in driving Africa's economic growth. As part of the DOS program we are pursuing, digitalization is part of the skilling and uh, we'll be in control of the contents. We'll be, we are developing uh, a curriculum which will be concluded uh, by end of August, ready for implementation by all schools in Nigeria from September. So content control is key to it so that uh, some of these things you are talking about uh, don't become a problem. Uh, already we have been able to mobilize up to 2,200,000 you know, young ones by various agencies. And uh, the Almagiri and Outer School Commission will start its own, which is actually the main commission set up for this purpose by law. So all these are going to be mobilized in numbers that can be meaningfully trained. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.